Hey everyone. <clears throat> hey everyone. Hey everyone. I think we're live. I'm not sure. I've only done this about a half dozen times. I think I'm getting better every week, but then I still don't know when I'm live. You know it says I'm live. Um anyways, we'll assume we're live. It says live. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I can never wait till the uh the time, so we always go live a little early. We'll have guests joining us again. Um, yeah, I'm definitely sorry to hear that, Jeff. I'm glad, I'm glad she's still with you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm terrible with names, even though Briz details. Thank you. I'll try to speak up. Um, yeah, we're early, so we're just kind of, you know, same as always for, for everyone that, you know, we're just relaxing and doing our, hey, Sally. Hey, everyone. Hey, Jeff. Uh, Brisby, thanks for joining us. Like I said, we're early, so, you know, we're just uh, we're just getting started here. And then we'll have guests just last, same as last week. We'll have uh, uh, Poe on the go. We'll jump in for a few minutes um, later if he has time. Um, I'm not 100% sure about everyone. I think Juliana might stop by. Um, we'll just have to see who comes in. Chad's not really great at confirming things that you can see. Anyways, when Denver comes in, we got a couple Smurfs to color in. You know, you can't really see them. So I did prep for this stuff. If Poe comes in, I made the snake he wanted. And uh, I got palm trees to color in. It is, I know, guys, we kind of do this for fun, but it is a stress reliever, in, in my opinion, to to draw with crayons, pencils, even if you just have a regular pencil and you just want to doodle. You know, it is, at least I think it is. Everyone does something else to relieve stress. This is uh, Jay Leto Unicorn did that earlier. So I started, I was doing this without anyone, not even on the air, and I was just doing sketches earlier today. Yeah, Jeff, we're all here for you, but, you know, um, here's a watermelon, and like I said, we're just early waiting for everyone to. Well, we got people here, but <laughs> your shipment, what I can get you whatever you want, Colin and Brock. Um, Here's, uh, when Denver comes in, we're going to be doing some more Smurfs. These are just, we're just kind of passing the time. Just showing you all the other ones. Hey, Nasty Nathaniel. Nasty Nathaniel, Nate, you're number one in my book, bud. I can't wait to do some audits with you someday. I see those videos and it, it makes, it makes you want, it makes me want to do an audit. Because you're welcome. Thank you. You've got a great channel, everyone. Anyone that's not subbed to Nasty Nathaniel has got a great channel. I'm sure you guys already all already subbed to the station, but it's just type in Nasty Nathaniel and it should come right up. He does First Amendment audits. He makes sure everyone's you know obeying their the Constitution. Oh, I got Juliana Milligian. Hi. Hey, Juliana. Thanks for joining Hi. us. Hi. Hi, Chad. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's God. Okay, this is amazing. Hi, everybody. I have no idea if this is going to work. My internet's not so good. Oh, it's okay. But you're hi, you're coming in great. Here. Oh, it's great. Wow. I started just like you. I was just a, you know, I was a viewer in the beginning. I, oh. Yeah. Uh, and, you're, and I've you're never used Brisbane. StreamYard before. Oh, I mean, I'm pretty new with it, too. I, uh, um, I mean, I just started going on with it pretty – I started – even before I had StreamYard, I just – when Poe used to do the the streams, I used to just – I didn't even have StreamYard. I just went right to my phone and clicked on them. So are you, are you going to yeah. get your own your own channel, Julia? Or no? Oh, probably not. <laughs> oh, okay. Not no, really, no. It gets addictive, though. You know? 
Yeah. yeah, I just, I don't know. It's like, I don't, I don't really have anything to say, you know? <laughs> oh, it's okay. You know, I don't really, I just, you know, just, yeah. Oh, we, we, you know, we appreciate you being here. Yeah, that's Julia. Uh, yeah, chat. You, yep. that is me. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, yeah, I want to join because, you know, since you, you, you were, I think when he when he decided to draw the smirks and I said, oh, you know, maybe that'll be a motivator for me to get my pencils out and start sketching yeah. a little just I mean, fun and, and No, really. I mean, if I, you, you guys see what I put out. If I could put out what I put out, you know, there's no bad draw, you know what I mean? You know. I really like the vibe of that exactly because it's just like it's just like a sport group you know in a way you know yeah. like you can do it just for the fun of it because I like drawing I don't really know, know how to draw very well but it's yeah me you know, neither. gives me some motivation yeah and it is in my opinion um, it, it is relaxing oh well, colonial you... broke who's <laughs> Colonel Brock again um I don't call what I do art by any means but i i would like to like i try from time to time i would like to know how to draw um yeah so i don't know and then i i also like to crochet like this is something that i made a couple winters ago oh that's hitler cool. was a fair painter <laughs> yeah so i hear yeah, let's see. What do I have here? What can I show? Um, I have the Smurfs. I ha no, I, I have a Smurf, but I, I did Smurfette on one of Chad's lives. <laughs> oh, nice. That looks is, really good. Was, I did a Smurf, like, and then I did this, you know, it's just like. Wow, that is really good. Watching Chad. Way better than um, mine. I just Google, um, like, if I have to draw just, something, I just. I'll draw how to draw a snake um, for kids and just use the outline. Those are really good. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah I try great. to sketch sometimes like, like Pokemon. Oh, okay. Wow. It's very good. Some I'm showing like the ones that I think are a little better, of course, but. Um, oh, they're very good. Crappy ones. Um, Nunu from League of Legends. Wow. That's excellent. You got the shade, shading down. Like. You got the shading down and this everything. Is the one, one that I actually liked. I try, mm -hmm. you know, like I'm trying to try to learn and try to improve. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of crap too, but those are the. No, it's all good. I mean, like you said, you guys, you guys see the stuff I put out in people's, you know. Hopefully, just like it did, it gets people going. Right? If Jack could put out, you know, stuff. And I have baby kitten. Oh, nice. Crochet mini clear water, Chad. Wow. Goldie and I got kittens around the same time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mine are a little bit older than hers. Yeah, that one's and cute. I. I mean, theory, I'm just fostering them, too, but there are two yeah. of them. Cats are, cats are, I always, I grew up with cats. I like cats and kittens. I've always had dogs. These are the first cats I've ever had. Oh, okay. Plan. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So what are we drawing tonight? Um... Well, when Denver comes on, he's going to want Smurfs. So I usually just try to take okay. requests because Paul last week wanted a snake. So I Googled how to draw. So I did a little snake. Uh huh. And I tried to do a lot of it before because it's hard to, you know, it's a little hard to, you know. Well, you guys seen the Smurfs, yeah. but I got more to color in. Oh, um, yeah, the Jay Leno Smurf. Yep. And then somebody, I forgot who, somebody requested a Jay Leno unicorn. It's kind of hard to see. Where's that? <laughs> um, that is so cool. <laughs> and then I just stenciled out my my favorite thing is the uh, I just have to color these in. My favorite thing is just the the multicolored the um, palm trees. This is one that's colored in. They're so just cool. just yeah, relaxing, just to 
the palms yeah. are like your your trademark you know yeah if like i said i was sketching this stuff out earlier just for the heck of it i mean it really mm -hmm. is a stress reliever to me oh yeah oh, we have a request there chat oh, chat alligator uh you well you could do one too if you want I'm sure this is mine. I know, right? We could we could do it. I I don't know where those went, but I'll do a new one. No I'll idea to, how to draw an alligator. I just I just have to Google it on my phone. Oh, me too. No, I need yeah. references, but yeah, I'm with references. And I still do. Um, I still do like the kid version of. You did a what? I still do the kid kid version. Um, I'll I'll type in okay. how to draw an alligator. Oh, and, that... uh... Yeah, that, yep. they're easier, I guess. Yeah, definitely. An alligator with palm palm tree. <laughs> well, palm tree is easy. Let's see. Someone's asking if they could join. Of course, you could join. Um, um, Put your email address in, and I can send you a link if you're serious. If not, we could do it next week. Playing for kids. And then we have Julia. We have uh, – is that how you say your name, Julia? Or Juliana? Juliana, but Ju – yeah. Like, I can go by Julie, or okay. Julia is fine. I always mess it up because my, my ex-wife's name is – it was Juliana, and I shortened it up okay. to Julie. I shortened it up to Julia, so it's like it's so many variations. I just don't want to get yeah. it wrong. Uh, in Brazil, I'm automatically Ju. Oh, okay. That's just like you can't even not be, you know, like because we don't have the thing that you guys have there that you introduce yourself by. Oh, she's breaking up a little bit. Uh, when I lived in the U.S., people that know me there, they, they usually call me Juliana. But if I say Juliana, Juliana, uh, Julie, I like Julie. Um, Julie, okay. That's Jew easy. doesn't work in English because it would be Jew. Oh, okay. <laughs> it really work in English. It's yeah, Ju weird. Julie's easy. Julie's just Julie's easy. That's okay. I'm fine with Julie. Okay. Ooh, we have an eight-year-old that wants to join. Next time. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm, I'm gonna write them right in the chat and just say, uh, email me your uh, your. Well, send me an email. It's great. Yeah. So, Julie, we have and everyone we have later on today. Pro might pop in. Um, I'm not sure if I never verified if Terry was coming, but I sent her the link. Um, not sure about Baron. Um, who else? Oh yeah, and Poet's coming soon, so we'll be good to go. I just I never could wait, so we started early. I saw she was on last week. Last week was yeah, that was that was great. All those people last week, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't know where my Pencil cases. So you're a you're a teacher, Julie. Used to be. Okay, that's cool. Not not since the pandemic. Um, oh yeah, I don't blame you. No, yeah, I had a I, I was a private teacher. I had my own office, my own classroom. Yeah. Um, then when the pandemic hit, you know, I just kind of had to give it up because I was paying rent. Uh, yeah, I kept on in online for a little while, but then the stress was too much, you know. Yeah, I could understand. Pandemic that. That really was... hit everybody. Yeah, that was a crazy time. Yeah, but yeah, I was a teacher for close to twenty years, nineteen years. Wow. Yeah, That's now cool. I'm unemployed and no idea what I want to do with my life. Wow. Well. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. I watch Scientology. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. It's, it's addicting watching it. Now there's, <laughs> it's great, but there's too many channels. 
to where you can't watch all the content even if you wanted it. That's that's good because that means those yeah. who can't watch Raw. Yeah, no, or you're 100% right. Fair game, everybody, at least. Yep. You know? yep, that's 100% true. Ooh, I got an update here from Aaron is live, I think. Okay. Scientology agents go after the judge. Oh, I want to watch that later. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it later too. I am um, Cardinal Brock. I am in Brazil. Yeah, I was gonna say, Julie, that's I think that's really neat. I, I've never been well, I've never been to a lot of places, but I've never been to Brazil. I yeah, I've never been to a lot of places either. I've only been to the US. <laughs> <laughs> I probably have been to I probably have been to Detroit more than um other places oh. in Brazil. Oh, that's cool though. I have been to I've lived in, in Lake Tahoe for four months and then I oh. and then I went to Detroit, took a semester at university there. Uh met a boy, started dating long distance, all that got married here, moved here, got divorced, but I haven't actually traveled in over ten years now. Wow. But um, yeah, there are so many many places that I'd like to visit and it's very cool here that we have people from all over. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. Hi, Terry. Hi, Cindy. Oh, we've... Two hours? Yeah. Well, we're not two, two hours, hours early. early. No, I think I advertised it at... Well, I don't want to say the time, but... Six my, my time. Right, in my time would have been five, because we wanted to get... wanted to get about... I don't know if we're going to go that long, but we want to get we want to go right till Aaron goes on. Yeah, because last week you, everybody was you know just. We, it was going good. Well, no, we went on for quite a while. I think last week, but yeah, it went right up to, to where people had yeah. to leave, so we could cut out earlier. Um, and then I wasn't going to start that early today, but I noticed people were in the chat already, so I'm, might as well start. I was just killing time, and then you know I got the uh, notification. Yeah, Chad is live. I'm like, okay, I'll go. Yeah. I'll join. Yep. Uh, Cindy, I am, I am not doing anything actually. I have my sketchbook open. I was gonna follow Chad on the alligator request, but okay, let me finish Google on that. I started getting, and, uh, and, and erased. We keep getting. Um, well, I guess you could watch the chat if you want. Oh yeah, I, I look. It's Brock at Tahoe is is heaven. I agree. It's probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Sunrises and sunset. Sunsets here aren't bad where I live at all, but Tahoe was just like amazing. You have some Puchacaba trees. <laughs> cool. Wow. Town of Bodhi, I don't know that. It, I don't know where that is. Wow, we have somebody else from Brazil too. No, uh, Brock's asking me if I've ever been to the town of Bodhi. Bodhi. Oh, okay. Bodhi. No, the next one says. Uh, In peace and love, said they. Uh, they have Jabuti I don't know how to draw an alligator. Actually, I got a real easy one. You do? Um, I, yeah, let's see. Yeah, like I said, a really, I don't know, it's going to be hard to do it in real time here. And I'm try this one. This one's cute. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to do. Kim, you 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 were a Mormon. You see what I'm doing here, <laughs> alligator. Uh. Hello, weird WM. Hey, weird Debbie. We're drawing alligators, everyone who just joined us, or at least tried. We're trying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have my camera pointed at it because I don't have a camera and because yeah, I don't want to okay. show this. 
<laughs> so everybody can just watch Chad draw, and it, I will. Well, as you can see, it's. Oh, here. sorry to cut you off. It takes several sketches like that. One's no good. Do another one. <laughs> and then you get to a point, though, like with the palms to where I could sketch it without looking at, at a at a sketch. Mm -hmm. And then you start getting creative too. Yep. Like changing colors and whatnot. Yeah, that's exactly what so happened. Yep. Such a weird shape. Your dad this... dabbled in Scientology before he joined the Mormon Church. Ooh. So pretty much, uh, you were gonna be raised a Scientologist or a Mormon. I'm going to have to do this over. This one is an alligator, maybe slash shark. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come out can good. You can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like. Ali shark. What. Yeah. All right. I can't do it with the easel. Thing. We can do hybrids. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We're having fun. That's what's important. I'm trying to keep that in mind because I keep drawing and erasing <laughs> here. I'm never going to finish any draft if I don't it's... just go. Yep, it's hard. It's as you can see, it's hard to do in real time. Yeah, it's all the pressure. Everybody's <laughs> watching. Yeah. Ooh, Kim. I'm sorry. I was watching an interview um, at what's her name, uh, Shalise, Shalise and Sola, I think, the cults to cults to consciousness. Okay. She was interviewing. She was she was raised a Mormon, and then she was interviewing somebody who was like the fundamentalist uh, Latter Day Saints, I think, FLDS. And then the girl had a was telling the polygamy story. It's like wow. Wow. Hello, your mojo. You have you an alligator and sh okay, that's so, uh, whatever Chad drew. I, I don't know. If, I'll have to had. put some sharper. Uh, okay, it's a little okay, better. See, you already got something. Look at what I have. I only have Let's this. See. That's this. all right. <laughs> you're you're a perfectionist, like my brother. I, here. You got damn. That's why I'm trying to let yeah. go. But but I, it took me three sketches to get this thing, and. Uh, We'll have to just go with it and color it in. Okay. I'll, I'm going to keep struggling. Yeah, take your time. Take minute. your time. Also because I'm looking at the chat. and No worries. Take your time. All I did, like I said, is I I drew, I, I Googled how to draw an alligator for kids. <laughs> and, you know, my phone to get that sketch. Oh, sorry, Terry. Okay. Terry, just... Welcome. Oh, Terry. Hey. hey, Juliana. Hi. Hi, Terry. How are you? I'm good. Knitting? Yep. Okay, great. Cool. So your um, post is doing really well, uh, Terry. Is it? Yeah. I had it out. done really well, and I was so happy with myself, and I realized I didn't hit the start button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then I just tried to think of everything off the top of my head, hit stop, and hit tried to send it to you. Yeah, no, it's uh, it did fine. Yeah, let me get to it. Uh, Goldie said she's gonna try to push it and promote it. Yeah, cool. that's great. Yep, man, I'm not gonna be able to do this. No, well, whatever you come up with is fine, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, let me try something else here. You guys chat. I'll listen. All right. Yeah, you're you're yeah, you got already fifty five views. And I only didn't put much because I want to get it right out. I just put message from Terry. So that's great. Maybe some other people will do it. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Cause like like Juliana said or Julie said, um, Goldie's, you know, gonna do something I was gonna do something down the line when I'm monetized. You know, when there's money coming in, you know, 
you know, for me would be a good time to do something. But that's great because you got. You that's got the people. feeling that I had. I wanted to join. Like, oh, I want to join. I can't, unfortunately, especially not in dollars. But uh, not what, in what many eyes. I uh, that's the feeling that I had. I had when I watched Terry's videos. I felt like, oh, I want to apply too. You know, yeah. I think everybody should do it. But like, I unfortunately I can't really. Right. No. Same here. Moment. You know. But same but, I, but but the video actually made me feel like helping yeah. to like like Down everybody. The line, though. Yeah. Well, all you have to do is have somebody else like his video, because once he gets there, I'll write, I'll transfer my money. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that'll that'll be great. Oh, and by the way, Chad, it's ninety three and humid as all get out here in the house. Oh, I forgot to get my That's hot. update. <laughs> yeah, how how hot is it by you, Julie? Let's see. I mean, roughly. 71. Oh, it's not too bad. No, it's going to get colder now because it's that time of year. Well, it's that time of year here that when the sun comes up, it gets hot. And then when the sun goes down, it gets cold. Wow. Not as cold as, like, you know, American winter or, you know, doesn't snow or anything, but. Yeah, cool. That's interesting. I, I don't know if it was on the chat or something. Last week you were saying, even though it gets to like 35 or 40, you guys really don't have like heaters and stuff. It's going to have to like, bundle up. Just now we have like space heaters that you, you know, plug oh, in, okay. but not yeah. really like built in nice. Because yes. one of the things that I remember from like, I've lived both in Lake Tahoe during the winter and in Michigan during the winter. Um, it's always warm inside. You know, yeah. so it's like, yeah, it's crazy cold, but like, yeah, it's beautiful to watch the snow. If you're warm inside, you don't have to go out and shovel. Yeah. And, you know, you get to just have some, I don't know, hot chocolate and, and, and watch movies. And, you know, here it's just, you're always cold when it's cold, you know. Wow. Interesting. Kim's making a cat couch. Oh, I need to see a picture of that. <laughs> I forgot about the chat. I am sorry, guys. I did too. I I'm forgot to hit the button. I'm not sure. just trying to focus on the drawing now because otherwise I won't be able to finish this or yeah. to do a draft. This is so difficult. This is a hard request, Brock. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, and we're still early. Poet's still going to join us. And Poet and then Poe on the go might jump in for a few minutes, too, in a little bit. Brock is asking me if I like tarantulas. I don't know why I would. Maybe some people do, but um, no. <laughs> That's funny. I have crocheted crocheted one once. I I did a a hat for Halloween that was like a web, and then Ooh. I did a um, a tarantula, like out of crochet, and I, I put it on it, and then I uh, and then a friend commented something that she liked it, and then I just gave it to her. Nice. So I don't have I have a picture of it somewhere. <laughs> It was cool. It was a fun project. Wow, this sounds like it. Yeah. Brock's saying there's a lot of tarantulas in Brazil. Um, I don't I it's I think it depends on the Brazil. I don't know if you guys realize that Brazil is a big country it's like no, I don't. it's almost as as big as the u.s almost it's like you know it's just that instead of being east to west it's north to south but it's very big so you know there's lots of different things in different places i've never seen one i don't think well because obviously this isn't true but when i picture south america all i'm picturing is just rainforest jungle yeah <laughs> 
it's like you think Africa, you think desert. You know, it's like yeah. you have the, the the stereotypes. Oh no, yeah. Yep. But not at all. That's funny. I've never been to the rainforest. Well, it's probably a good thing. They they probably have a lot of snakes and stuff. Is Brazil the country? I'm sure a lot of them are. That's that have all cold. the gemstones <laughs> you can go find. Somebody I knew way back when went somewhere in South America and brought me back a loose stone. I think it's a uh, it's blue. Maybe it's an aquamarine. And they said, "Oh, they're everywhere down there." You know, it's very interesting when I was when I was when I did my semester at Wayne State University in Detroit. I went with a couple other students from my university here. So classmates that I had here, people that I knew from here that live in the same city, that went to the same classes that I did. And then I remember pe people asking us questions. Oh, do you guys have this in Brazil? Do you guys do that in Brazil? <laughs> and my friend and I had very different answers for most mm -hmm. questions. <laughs> it was like, do you guys do this in Brazil? I'm like, no. And she'll go, yes, or the opposite. It was just like a lot of times that happened. And we were like, as I said, in the same context, you know, like, Wow. I just yeah, don't remember so what country it came from. I don't know if it's my connection, but you're breaking up here. Oh, I found the, the picture. Oh, nice. Ooh. That is beautiful. That's cool. That's, that was cool. Yeah, that was a fun project. Mm -hmm. And here was just the web, just the hat wow. before the the tarantula. <laughs> nice. Have I ever gone naked in Rio? I don't know why I would do that either, but I have been to uh. Rio before, not naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Did you guys see the uh, get the notification tomorrow morning? Um, Claire and Mark are doing the uh, Where is Shelly series. I saw that. Are they going like starting tomorrow, the series? I think so. I didn't get That's a cool. notification. I was just scrolling. I think it said 9 o'clock my time. I'm central time zone. Yeah, my time was 10, but that's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that should be interesting. Let me take a look at the chat here. Kim D, hi. You're redesigning the pattern to make what? What were we talking about? I missed the entire thing. <laughs> Some of it, I think, is people talking to each other, too. Yeah. Oh, they need to, uh, here's the, not done yet. They let's want see, let's see. On the... I can't see it from here. Oh, oh there you go. Okay. I, I see there. you. <laughs> I can, yeah. Thanks. All right. Yeah, it, it is relaxing. Uh, CEO Bill, when you say all you know is Antonio Carlos Jobim, the Redeemer, uh, by Antonio Carlos Jobim, do you mean the person? like you know his music that's pretty cool if you do he is awesome he was awesome it is my connection then cindy thanks for letting me know i have to improve my connection here is just really bad where it's i not, live it's fine it's it's um no but it's just it's a wi-fi connection the modem's upstairs it oh, just, no worries. You know, it, it, that happens to me when I'm in, like, calls and sometimes when I'm just using the internet. You know, it's just something that I have yeah. to to fix. But, okay. I've seen worse. You're not, like, even freezing up or anything. I have been for a second, but... Oh, okay. A couple times here. Yeah. I know because I stopped hearing you guys. Oh, okay. So if you're breaking up, I know it's my connection. I'm breaking up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My computer is going through a tunnel. 
<laughs> yeah, love a piece is right. You gotta, whoever wants all the notifications, you gotta reset them. So, let me, oh. let me take a look at Brock's questions here. Although he has, he's asking, you know, the trick questions there, but uh, do I know, do I know about Snake Island off the coast? No, I don't. Um, update on the artwork. Chad just showed his. I can yep. show mine here. Very good. Okay. Uh, Very good, Terry. Let's see. Debbie left. Uh, do I feel safe in Brazil? Yeah. Why wouldn't Most you? Is Brazil time. considered dangerous? Some places. I didn't know that. I look familiar. I don't know. Yeah, you do. I, <laughs> I just have one of those faces, I guess. Yep. <laughs> you look a little like my friend Kista, but I doubt anybody else knows Kista. <laughs> Oh, COB, don't come to Brazil. Go somewhere else. <laughs> we don't want you here. Maybe, maybe, uh, what was that, Jim Joe Guana or somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there. A lot yeah, of space out sad, there. Sad yeah. story. Yep. Devastating. Did you guys know anything about the 12 tribes? The cult of 12 tribes? I've heard the name, but I don't know much about it. I've them. heard of it too, but I don't know what it is. I don't know much about them either, but you know Reckless Ben? Yeah. Yes. He did the Scientology infiltration. He infiltrated their their that cult. Oh wow, I didn't know uh, that. Yeah, he has a series. I actually heard about that on uh Aaron's interview on the last podcast he was in. He talked about that and then I went and looked it up and then I watched the series. And it's called like the Yellow Deli cult or something. He infiltrates the Yellow Deli. Yellow Deli is like the restaurant that they have, which is like a front for, or it's run by these people from the 12 tribes. And apparently it's like they live, like most of them live in like a compound and they, they do the farming and cooking and everything. And then twice a week they work at the restaurant. Wow. And that guy is crazy. He infiltrated that cult and then it, they're bad apparently from what Jeez. you know and yeah and they have something you know evil in mind wow. uh, you know but remind oh, me I think, okay i think I know what you, yeah um, they have a plan or an idea it's not like they have something uh, it's scary it's scary stuff wow it's kind of crazy how most not maybe not all of them but most of these Cults are the same MO, the same type of brainwashing. Absolutely. Absolutely. One of the more crazier ones, I think, too, is that Nexium cult. Ooh, that's how I started into all of this. Wow. Before Scientology, I was learned I saw Nexium and I'm like, wow. And then I'm like, I could totally have fallen for that. And yeah. then I decided to look up Scientology because Scientology is not big in Brazil. It's like there are two missions here. And it's just like I well, all I know about Scientology was Tom Cruise, you know? Yep. And then I looked it up and then I'm like, man, what? Uh, I know. Hole. When I uh, I started with the, the Leah Rebney show, whenever that was on, uh -huh. and uh, I was like, this is some crazy stuff. So crazy. And then eventually I came across Aaron's channel and been hooked since. I don't even know where I started. It was before. I think I saw probably going clear first. Oh, okay. I, I, go, I just Google. I just YouTube <coughs> everything, you know. Yeah. But definitely. it was during the pandemic. It was very recent. Wow. But I got all in, like, started following everybody. And, well. Did, did you ever go back, Julie, and see the, uh, and watch uh, Leah's uh, show go on Annie? I have started after Goldie posted a link to internet archives i think i watched i watched darren's uh and mark and claire's and a oh, couple okay. more episodes i haven't watched any more than that because i remembered 
like Aaron's story, I remember was really powerful, you know, the whole situation with his brother really moved me. And yeah. I don't remember if I already followed Aaron's channel when I, when I saw his episode, but I definitely have been, you know, watching a lot more of Aaron, especially after he lost the, the election last year and he started posting daily. Um, um, so it was really something else to watch that again. It was sad. Yeah, definitely. I don't want to do these eyes. Where's my reference here? Oh, we're still working so on ugly. it. We're still working it. I think Brock wants an update. We're still working on it, Brock. <laughs> that better not look like a crocodile. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, right? Mine's looking like a whatever's. Yeah, that's all, right. all good. It's so demanding. I know. And it is, it is hard to talk again, even if we're just, you know, I have a question for you, Brooke. What's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? You gotta tell me so that I don't mm -hmm. draw, a croc draw a crocodile or draw an alligator, right? He said it was an alligator. I think the crocodiles are a lot bigger. Is that okay. right, Brock, or not? Just because I used to watch that, uh, that Australian guy. Steve Irwin? Yeah, I used to love when he got the... the Whatever they were, crocodiles. Okay, I'm giving up on it, all right? I'm just doing whatever now. <laughs> right, I'm it's like, fine. There's it's not going to be color. on. Yeah, just have some fun. I don't know if I'll be able to do all Brock's commands here. <laughs> hey, B. Baron. B. Baron's in the chat. Be Baron and everyone, this is, I, I know I just showed it, but we got new people, so working on the alligator, yeah, alligator. slash crocodile. And... Okay, so we have here. Salt water, sweet water, doesn't really help. <laughs> <laughs> Species location, nose. Nose might help, because, you know, crocs have a sharp shaped note. Noose? Nose, I imagine. Noose for nose. Oh. Hey, be Baron, be bear, be Baron. I be Baron. Let's try something else here. Oh, I found your reference, Chad. Oh, what did you find? Is it? Your reference. Yeah, that's the one. Yep. Oh, yeah, good. See, I recognized it. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, that's oh, like, all. I, I your reference. Yep. It's easier when you do like four kids, you know. Yeah. That's funny. You know, it's funny that I have drawn one something. This is what I got. I stopped here. I, I'm like, uh, stressed out already. It's oh, very it's good. Cute. Yeah, it uh, is very yeah. detailed. I don't think it is, but I think it's. He no, looks it's like open. a real cartoon. I'm, I'm trying. That's my reference. Yeah. But, um, and you're, ins you're inspiring other people to start too. Let's do it. Yep. Let's start a movement, you know. And I can yep. do. Sometimes I'll draw. Sometimes I'll do crochet. I'll go with the flow. Yep. 
I I have a cousin who I don't know, there was some kind of meme here a few years ago that was like, uh, I don't know if it was an, uh, let's say an alligator, but without the middle part. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. I, I think, think I. You froze, I froze up for froze just for once. It's okay. Yeah. Um, so. My cousin was just like in love with this meme, you know, Gen Z kind of crazy, weird stuff. And then he wanted people to draw. He draws. So he was like, draw this in your own style, you know. And then I was like, and then I kind of did a couple things that were similar. But that was a long time ago. A few years ago. Not a long time ago. Uh -huh. Now, Brock's saying that I, I did a croc. So I'm sorry. Well, I googled no, like alligator. I'd like TV gardening channel. That would be fun. Yeah, I like gardening too. I'm not good at that. I don't have a green thumb at all. Oh, I think I know where it is. Let's see. Or we could just draw a garden. <laughs> That's easier. Yeah, that's that's fine, Grand Theft. If you can grow them, grow them. We could do something down the line with that, though. Here you go. This is what I drew a couple years ago. Wow, that's great. That that's is a, amazing. You see, there's just like one set of uh, legs. So that was the meme. It was just like oh. instead of being like an alligator, it was like a alger, alter. <laughs> I don't know. It was. <laughs> so there you go. That's cool. It's very good. <laughs> Your PayPal I demand these things. <laughs> oh, there you go. There we go. Nice. It's done. Yep. Yay. We did alligator next. Next request. Oh, well, here's one I made last week. This monster guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. my, my kid did one and I'm I copied his. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Legigator. Yeah, could be. I don't know. I don't know if you guys had anything similar there. Here, that's what they did. They get they got the name like Jacare, that there are two syllables, and they removed the middle syllable and became Jare. You know, like oh, just okay. the, the head and the, the tail. Well, it was that's cool. weird. Nice. Space Invaders, spa good, e good after good, good evening here. Uh, good afternoon, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer saying, Chad, 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 Chad. <laughs> That's funny. Collect SPTV artwork. Okay. Oh, I did do something. During Chris Shelton's show. I, I, I did this. Wow, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. I was Very watching nice. and, and just sketching, you know. Very that was nice. Fun. I love it. I'll do a palm. Is anyone in the chat working on any artwork tonight? It's okay if you're not. Just wondering. Hi, Jennifer. That's, that's great, doing? Jennifer. Birthday cards. Very nice. Uh, how do you make your birthday cards, Jennifer? What kind of craft? Or... Ooh, do you use a Cricut or a machine to cut stuff out? Or do you just draw? Just draw, maybe, yeah.
great. I called into Chris's show once too. Oh, really? I was shaking for one hour afterwards. I'm like, why did why? I do that? I sound so dumb. What did I say? What was I talking about? I just <laughs> lost my train of thought. What? Why? It is hard when you're yeah. When you're on. Did you you, you ask the question? No, it was just like it was just to comment on whatever the topic was. And, yeah. And I had so many things while he was talking. I'm like, oh yeah, I have so many things, and I'm like, I don't even know what I said anymore. I don't want to watch it again. Just it's there. Yeah, and, that's um, funny. I did once too for his. Uh, I don't know why. Same deal, but his 400th show. I called in and said congratulations. So. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that's better than just calling to like supposedly say something and then you feel like it didn't really say anything you know it just yeah rambled and, and and sounded stupid that's how i felt anyway i'm sure it was fine though i hope so cricket cricket those are so cool like cricket uh what's the other one called there's cricket and silhouette silhouette yeah i, have a I used to work with a girl who had a silhouette that was sick Mm -hmm. They're the same thing, just different brands. Yeah, that's the one that I saw. I was like, very cool. Very, very cool. Anything with paper? Okay. But usually, I've like, cut I paper out with mine, though. You don't? No, I've made um, t shirts. I cut vinyl out. Yeah. I made numbers for my mailbox. Nice. Oh, nice. I have seen some very cute things done with vinyl. No, I used to work at a school, like I was uh, the coordinator for a couple of years mm -hmm. before I started working for myself. I don't know if you were here, Terry, when mm -hmm. Chad asked me if I was a teacher, I said I used to be. Um, and then before the pandemic, for the, the last four years before the pandemic, I was working for myself. So I had an office, you know, the classroom, and I was just a private teacher. But before that, I was a teacher for 18 years, 18, 19. Well, 18, 19 years total. So it was like 14, 15 years before I opened my office. But anyway, so I was a coordinator for a couple of years. And then we used to do things for like occasions and, and for the kids and for decoration and whatnot. And so I had this coworker who had a, a silhouette. And some things we did just by hand, like cutting paper and stuff. It was fun. But I've seen the vinyl stuff. Wow. I got it on during the pandemic when everybody was at home. People mm -hmm. were cleaning out their house and selling stuff and giving stuff away. So I got it dirt cheap nice. with a bunch of stuff. And all I wanted to do was make labels for these jars that I keep like rice in and uh -huh. sugar and all that. Because I had plenty of the jars. Mm -hmm. So I did that and then thought, what else can this do when you go on YouTube oh, and see gosh. everything people do with these things? Mm -hmm. It's cool crazy what people can do mm -hmm. yeah it is i wouldn't have the the patience to do what you do terry though i'm amazed by it though <laughs> i like calm and tranquility and it's very calming yeah the repetitiveness is very meditative <clears throat> Yep. That's good. Everyone likes something different, yeah. Oh, that's great, Love and Peace. You do the, uh, you make jar, uh, jams and jellies, and that's great. That's definitely oh, also. Yeah, you need to use your cricket. <laughs> oh, hey, rounds finished. That's good. Oh, I want to check that out later. Yeah, definitely. Can you crochet left and right handed? How on earth? Well. Yeah, Jennifer, I've got arthritis everywhere except in my hands. It's starting to get into my wrists. Sorry to hear that, Terry. 
but my doctor said it's because I use my hands so much that might be why it's not setting in there. Well. Thanks, Cindy. I try. Not easy. Not easy. Mm -hmm. I think that's a little bit of human nature, though. You're, we're usually harder on ourselves. Yep. Aaron's slide was good. Tell me about it. Hey, poet. <laughs> hey, poet. Hey, poet. Are you coming in, poet? I don't see him waiting yet. I'm not anti-medical science, but I do like to try healthier ways first. I'm sorry to hear that, Kim. What did I miss? Yeah, I must have people forcing left-handed people to be right-handed. It's crazy now. When I was in school, you know, we'd have just a handful of lefties. And then when Andrew started school, half the class was left-handed. Just did force people not to be left-handed. Yep, That's they did insane. back at my age. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's sick. Uh, who I, you know who I, who I learned recently that's left-handed, but is right-handed, is Ringo Starr. I heard that. Wow. That's why he plays the drums funny. Or holds yeah. a stick. Strange. Like, oh, everybody's saying he's, you know, I've heard him say, like, oh, everybody's saying I'm a genius. I'm like, no, it's just because I can't do it any differently because I know I'm left handed and they forced me to. So I had a right handed kit and this is how I learned. And wow, I never knew that. Yeah, very, that's why people try to copy him and they have a hard time. Wow. Because it's. Yeah. You're a self-declared cheerleader of the world. I like yeah. that. Yeah, me too. Uh -huh. I saw my name. Or am I under the care of a voodoo doctor? I am not. Thank you for asking. Uh -huh. What's your favorite jelly or jam to make? I make a ginger pear. It's really yummy. But I don't like canning because here we do it in July and August and it's already so flipping hot. I don't like making my house even hotter. Yeah, I hear that. I think Brock wants to be sent into ethics. He's saying that Ringo wasn't <laughs> even the best drummer in the Beatles. Shut up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dandelion jelly. Mm, interesting. Lilac jelly. Mm. Uh, Mango pepper that? jelly. I've made that before. Don't be jealous, so I wouldn't know, but those aren't fruit. Can you eat that? That makes sense. Like you can drink tea. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I just, for me, jelly, I would think fruit. I yeah, know, talking about here. plants, so I'm like, that sounds weird, but it makes sense. Yeah, I wonder how they do it. No idea. Yeah. 
We're doing the palms, yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, I I have an app that's called I forget Sketch Daily or something, and they have a prompt every day, Sketch a day. So I just looked up the prompt and the prompt is optical. So I'm Oh nice. Drawing an eye. Yes. Nice. It's very nice. Needs to be one on the other page. I'm sorry? Oh yeah, no. That's one on not the other real. page. No. <laughs> not good at I'm not good at doing two yeah. of the same. Of not only I I'm that way with knitting. I'm afraid right. to make sleeves. But yeah, but they I have don't to be the same. Nice. I think I'm back. <laughs> yep. When I try to crochet like socks or mm -hmm. baby shoes and just like I could not do two of the same. They would come Same out here. That's why I don't do that stuff. My dog's whimpering. I'll be right back. No problem. Very good. That is true. Fruits develop from flowers. It's just that sounded weird when I said like dandelion jelly, lilac jelly. I'm like, that sounds weird, but it makes sense. Yep. It's just because I don't eat it. I've never had those either. I would try it, but I never had those. I didn't know they existed either. what I'm going to do here now. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hello, Cacao. You want to come here? You want to say hello? Say hello, people. Hello. hello. Hi, Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Bacon. No, 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 no. Bacon jam. What? I do not. Chad, do you play any musical instruments? No, not unfortunately not. Do you, Julie? No, I don't. I think we lost I Julie just for... Oh, there you I go. I'm going to keep freezing. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. No, it's not a big deal at all. It's fine. Hopefully I'll have better internet someday. It's all good. I have cheap cheap internet, but it seems to be working okay today. Yeah, mine is just like it's not so good, but also the fact that I'm on Wi-Fi and away from the modem. Yeah. They told help. me I I, <clears throat> I actually looked at the directions on mine, which is I never do, but it said for mine to put it near a window. Uh, yeah, I am near a window, but oh, okay. it's still like where yeah, the modem is set up oh, yeah. and where I am, the window doesn't really yeah. help. Much. Well, all... it does, but not really. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Well, I get to hang out a little with you guys. That's fun. It's been fun. Yeah. Sorry about the noise. It's okay. No problem. Close your laptop, you lose your connection. Just learned that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we learn a little bit every time. And like I said, like I said, for anyone just joining us, Poet um, from our from our community will be coming in soon, and Poe and the Go might even be stopping by. So Kim plays a lot of instruments. Very cool. Well, he is. Oh, that's awesome. You march with your high school alumni band on the 4th of July. That's fun. 
John Lennon was a narcissist on how to tell more. I mean, I can see that. Brock asks, what are we debating here? I have no idea. What are you debating? I don't even know either. Just rambling. Not debating anybody, anything, anybody. <laughs> yeah, we have no outlines tonight. Sorry, Brock, Colonel Brock. So what do I want to do next? All right, so I finished the palm. I'm going to take a break and just enjoy the chat. And okay. It's hard to draw oh, for so many the whole time. It's hard to draw in chat. Yeah. It is public record. Uh, what is public record? That John Lennon was a narcissist? That he never <laughs> liked Ringo? Uh, okay, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I like well, the Beatles. You can get yourself but... together, poet, and come on in whenever you feel like it. Yep, no pressure. This is a you know, relaxing session. Absolutely. Yeah, music is awesome. Love and peace, I agree. Oh, someone in the chat, uh, Sandy, wants to know what you're making, Terry. Oh, it's a, um, I'm doing it from the top down. It's a shawl. It's going to be pointed at the bottom. Wow, it looks really nice. I've made most of it while listening to SPTV and here, being here. Nice. Nice. SPTV art. Yeah, there you go. SP art. Yep. Plenty of channels to watch and it's growing. Yeah. Thanks, Cindy. How long have you had your channel up, Chad? Uh, January 18th. Um, you guys know the story, right? Yeah. No. But you can okay. tell maybe not maybe not yeah. everybody knows. Well, in case everyone yeah, so I remember I, when it happened. It was fun. I'm yeah. Like, oh yeah. That's about the time I started watching all the SP channels. Okay. It, was, yeah. uh, it was Lisa Marie's death. It was right around there. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. So yeah, I had uh so I was watching Aaron. He was the only channel for like six months prior, and he came up with the challenge. Because he was making fun of like Tampa Brad. So he said, anyone that Who wants to Tampa come up Who is Tampa Brad? With... Oh, you'll have to go and watch. Yeah, Scientologist. He's... Oh, he is a Scientologist. Yep. Okay. okay. He's a Scientologist okay. that does silly videos promoting Scientology. Gotcha. He's... Okay. He's... Aaron has yep. some very good videos discussing yeah. his videos. Fun. Good or bad, but okay. So he's. Who, he no, Aaron's my... videos are good. Yeah. But he's who my character is based off of originally. Now, I've kind of strayed from him because he's kind of boring to, you know, 
Oh, they could use so many videos of, you know, parodying him. Yeah. But, um, so he's who's, he is who Clear, Clearwater Chad is based off of. You're the anti Tampa Brad? Um, no, I'm, I'm supposed to be based off of him. Okay. But he morphed um, into his own thing, which is right. awesome, which is right, a lot because, better. Thank you. Yeah, pretty much did. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron Aaron said uh, in one of his videos, he was making fun of Tampa Brad, and then he said something like, "Oh, if somebody were to create a character and call himself Clearwater Chad, I would promote in this channel." And then, uh, and then a couple <laughs> yep. of days later, Chad was was making yep. videos like, "Oh, here's Clearwater Chad," and you know, yep, uh, those SPs this and those SPs that, and you know, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yep, I was like, "Well, if no one else is doing it." I said to myself. I'll give it a shot. I've never done anything like that. But, uh, I mean, how hard could it be? The guy was a little cringy to watch. So it's pretty easy to, to mimic him. And, and then, then I there's purposely... another. There's Sarasota Jerry also, who's another spoof of, yeah. of Tampa Bread, who's also funny. In the beginning, I purposely did everything. Like, anytime Aaron Aaron stopped the video, I would purposely cue in on that and make sure I, I said that. Okay. Um, even with other, even even nothing to do with Tampa Brad, but even if someone like Marty Rathman got his name wrong, I would purposely call him Aaron Levin Smith. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, I called him that for the longest time. My <laughs> husband's family, just, they have Smiths in their family. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, so but the, the one that uh, Chad is referring to is because. <laughs> Marty Rathbun uh, made a couple. Marty Rathbun yeah. is an idiot. <laughs> yeah. He made a couple. You know when he went back to making when he went to making. Not, he didn't go back to Scientology, but when he turned on the SPs and he started making videos attacking them, he 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 knows Aaron's name and he started saying that he started I'm calling perfect. Aaron Aaron Levin Smith, and then Aaron's <laughs> like, "That's stupid. He knows my name. You know, like why is he doing that?" Yeah, you're right. Like Aaron would stop the video. He's like, "My name is Aaron Smith Levin," <laughs> and Marty <laughs> just, knows it. Yep, yeah, that's exactly it. He just wouldn't stop. So same thing when when he did for. Obviously, I don't really do it anymore, but he used to hate when Tamper Brad used to like, you know, he said like throw up in his mouth. So I used to, uh, you know, pretend to cough and all that stuff. <laughs> Well, now my doggy's wanting food. Give me a second. No problem. <laughs> I was gonna say, just don't close your laptop. Yeah. I'll feed you. <laughs> yeah, we're really informal here. Thanks, Aunt. I had a, I like the LRH advises too. Kind of the same. I just took just taking a break from because. You know, you can go so far with them. And, and and there was a lot of people that still, to this day, don't really get, you know, that this was a parody. So, the you know, joke, I, kinda, yeah. I slowed it down a little bit. And, you know, doing this type of stuff now. Which is fun. Like, you find your thing. And yep. it's interesting how things are happen happening, like, organically, you know, like you're you know what you're doing here just connecting all of us and, and it's so fun i yeah and I, I you know i didn't really plan it but i love how like you jumped on terry's here poet's here yeah uh, yeah I like that too. definitely oh here's here's uh poet's trying to come in cool welcome hello mr poet hey poet oh we got is he muted Make sure your sound's on. There you go. I heard him. Oh, okay, good, good. Okay, good, good. I kind of like walking this way. Colonel Brock, I crochet, but I can't make things like that. I just make blankets. You need to get with the real crocheters. That's Marilyn. Exactly. Have you guys seen the Theta Potato? Yes. So cool. I am learning to do the Amigurumi kind of thing, but I was looking for something here, but I... Okay. 
Okay, can you get turn it up a little louder? Oh, I, I know what's I know what's wrong. I'm uh, streaming it on YouTube. Oh, good. It let you do that. Hey, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yep, you're coming in pretty good now. Okay, I had it uh, streaming on uh, in a browser on YouTube now, <laughs> so I was hearing like triple. <laughs> yeah, because I, I had it going on my regular account, my Brian Lucas account on my big TV, and I'm getting visuals here and there, and I'm getting double and triple audios here. I'm like, oh, crazy feedback. And yeah, it was interesting. 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 So yeah, to to like uh, I guess build on what you guys were talking about. Like Chad, I remember when you uh, started your thing. I, you know, I remember the uh, exact one when uh, it, my brain's up my butt. You know, I don't have to bear with me for a minute. Take your time. Okay. okay. So let me read something to you guys. Sure. Okay. Uh, it, I don't think Jadice is in the. Uh, let me get Jadice in the chat. Is she on? Yeah, she's one to uh, mod on my channel. I was going to ask Chad to uh, help her out with. Yeah, that. I can guide you through that. Okay. Uh, I only did it once, but I can. I wrote down some notes on how to do it because I pretended like I was going to do that. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to start streaming on my channel too, just for the fun of it. You should. As soon as I fix my internet. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so next okay, I'll, I'll, next I'll, week I'll, or whatever. I'll, I'll save that for that one for a minute. Um, actually, this morning, any of y'all you know, watch a Nor, uh, Ono Nor's uh, video this morning? I did not this morning. I did not. Monday morning's my errand running hours. Okay, well, y'all are talking about being inspired and everything. You know, I've write, been writing a bunch of haikus. Like I've cool. got a whole collection going. It, it's it's weird, but uh, this morning I was watching her uh, uh, video and uh, she was talking about Dev T. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not Dev sure T. that is. I know it's a Scientology thing, but I'm not sure yeah, what it means. It's, I don't like, uh, it's like being a mess. Okay. <laughs> yeah, or <clears throat> it's like every excuse me, everything is bothersome. You're you're all Dev T. You know? Okay. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, she was saying it's a, uh, a, a very uh, useful word that she wishes she could use in real life. Mm -hmm. One of those she can bring over from Scientology. So uh, uh, here is my 28th, 28th Scientology I did. Scientology, when will you realize you are so dev key? That's something that they understand <laughs> <laughs> a lot better than we do. That's funny. Yeah. I language. just realized you said it was a haiku, so now it made sense. <laughs> yeah, Scientology. <laughs> when will you realize you are so dev T? <laughs> it's, 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 Scientology it's, takes your whole first line. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. easy. It's, this is, it's just so, and I hate writing haikus. I was, um, if you look at one of my one of my earlier videos, uh, I, I wrote uh, the first haiku I remember writing since I was in third grade was for uh, my ex girlfriend, and uh, yeah, I worked on it, worked on it, worked on it, worked on it. And I, I talked about it. In a, it's called uh, a haiku, just simply a haiku. Um, it's one of my like so one of my earlier videos, and uh, and then when when. Uh, uh, Aaron was doing all those poems on chat GPT and stuff. I was like going, because I'd messed with it before. And uh, it was like, okay, this is so good. It's like, you know, I'm kind of fascinated by AI and all that stuff. If uh, uh, the, the video that uh, John Atack and uh, uh, Chris, uh, Chris Shelton. Yeah, Chris Shelton did is a really good one. I've actually watched it like twice about that and uh when uh you know everybody in chat have it do this have it do that 
have it right at home. I'm like, okay, this is my territory. It's messing with me. Right? Yeah, so I, so I, uh, I thought, I uh, was like, okay, uh, that's when I wrote the master. I like that. that. And then I wrote my first Scientology haiku, which took up. Then, then I wrote Mr. Mickey Witz, and they just started coming out. Nice. Uh, so, uh, in the spirit of our apostate Alex and uh, you, Terry, um, I've decided to put them put these limericks, and uh, and uh, I don't want to go off prematurely here, but I've decided to put these limericks and these haikus into a collection, and I'm going to try to get it on Amazon as a Kindle. And if it makes any money, donate half of that to the Aftermath Foundation. There you go. Nice. Very yes, nice. I, cool. I, know there's, I know there is a lot of you out there that will buy it just for that reason. I am ready for you. That's how I can help. So, there you go. That's this will be, it'll be in a couple months. I've got, uh, I've got, I'm starting my own publishing uh, imprint and stuff. Uh, and that takes paperwork and bureaucracy and all that time. Um, I'm not ready because I'm out of battery, but I'll, char I'll have it charged by the time you release that. It, I'll it, it'll be in that. a couple months. It, it, it'll be in a couple months. You know, I was I was kind of reluctant to uh, you know really announcing announce stuff because you know sometimes things mm -hmm. just don't work out and everything. And I'm very very passionate about this. It's and you know I hate I hate writing haikus, but I've been writing on my it, limericks. You know, you, you, when, when someone thinks of a limerick, they think uh, you know well, there once was a man from Nantucket. You know. Yes. <laughs> so, um, just that is cool. But if it, even if you know, for some reason you, you don't no, finish it or you don't publish it or something, you know, it's no, it's no, it's uh, it's it, no, it, it's it's happening. It's going to happen. It's just I. Uh, it takes. I can be a very impatient person. You know. <laughs> I, yeah. You know, I I got my first YouTube subscriber, which is my best friend John. And then I wanted my 1,000th one, and I'm at 79. <laughs> <laughs> you know, baby step, I feel baby you, poet. Baby, 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 I feel baby you. Step, baby steps. I am so, the same. I can be the same. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's, it's all baby steps, and I'm, 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 a, I'm very passionate, and sometimes my my passion manifests itself as impatience, and it's causing me to trip mm -hmm. over myself. In life, you know, it's life lesson. It's a learning process too. Yeah, and, and and I want to give back to you know this. A lot of people want to say this. Doing this has, you know, a rising tide lifts all ships, and my ship has Absolutely. been lifted. Yeah, me being me being a sailor, you know, <laughs> I get I I, I, I get the, uh, the get the, I love the nautical metaphors. And, you know, if I can give back a little bit and. Uh, annoy certain people with thought provoking haikus and silly limericks <laughs> and you know certain little people speaking of certain little people let me uh read one let me just uh, before you do it. let me just show my optical yeah. my eye oh wow oh it looks great it does look great yeah I, the one eye. Hata, i'm afraid to do two things on one round needle that scares me. I don't care if it makes it better. Okay, now you can go. Now he froze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay Dice. Okay, Jay Dice is in the chat. Hi, Jay Dice. Hey, Jay Dice. Hey, yeah, uh, I guess you can him to uh, moderate on, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we can even do it after. I wrote down some of the instructions. Okay, we'll figure that out. Anyways, let's see here. This limerick is called Captain COB version 2. So here we... Oh, excuse me. So here is our little boss baby, whose moniker is that of Davy. Many do a test. He's a giant. Oh. I am sadist. 
and Kathy. I think. Is it me or is it his feed? It's his feed. Okay. I, I don't know. I have a, uh, I live out in the sticks. So uh, I work on an antenna system. It's wire, what they call it wireless, wireless fiber. So sometimes this time of day, it's really, really good to so, uh, mm. Who knows? We know you have AOL, po poet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old school. I, I don't know. Okay, let me find. Okay, here. All right, Jay Dice, this one's for you. This is called a scientol a, a scientological limerick. So here we have this thing, Scientology. It calls itself a modern day theology. Its truth is neath the cloak of mirrors, lies in smoke and out of touch with all reality. That was cool. Yeah, that was nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, J Dice has been helping me with the uh, with some editing and stuff, so nice. Wow. Very nice. Are you kidding me, J <laughs> Oh <laughs> Lord. What happened? Her, her neighbor, her neighbors called her H O A about it. Um, <laughs> I think she's being silly. Those homeowners people are nuts, though. Oh yeah, that's why I like living where I live. I have elbow room. Me too. Yeah. I answer to no one, and I can paint my door my door aqua in the fall if I want to. Nice. Yeah, right now I I need to mow my yard, but um, I have kind of my lawn equipment's kind of all, all of it's on the blink but i'm kind of leaving it up because it's I've, I've got a uh, several milkweed they're like seven feet tall and you know milkweed are good for monarch butterflies and stuff so we have we take them through here we leave them up but no one complains very good okie dokie let me Let's see. Yeah, you said you said Poe might be coming on later. Yep. Yeah, just for a few minutes, probably. Well, if he does, I brought out my. I brought Allen Poe. Yeah, I was gonna read read one. Yeah, it's so. unlikely that he'll show, but just yeah. for the hell of it, I did send the link to AA Ron. Yep. You never know. Yeah, you never know. He does. All right. Like your, yeah. Have you guys seen the that show that has Poe the AI um, Alter Carbon? Yes, that is weird. Uh, I'll be right back. I got to get my uh, reading glasses. Okay. No problem. There's an AI for you know anybody who hasn't watched it. There's an AI hotel based on the works of Edgar Allan Poe, and then the the AI manifests as Poe. Wow. Uh, yeah, you were talking about Alter Carbon? Yep. Yeah, that is a really interesting show. I like it. Yeah, I like and I it. love Poe, the character of the AI is just, mm -hmm. especially the second season. Uh, it's I was... so pertinent to what we were talking about, about the, the conversation between John and, and Chris. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I really like the first season. I haven't really watched the second one. Um, but I like the fact that he, he had that pink backpack through the entire season. I love that <laughs> yeah. thing. Okay, so we, we got to describe this then. Okay, so this yeah. is a guy. Okay. This is like a huge guy. You know the guy who did the, the latest Robocop? I don't know if you, know if you know who it is. But anyway, think of a buff guy, right? This big guy who's badass and he's like killing people and fighting and whatnot and he carries a pink unicorn backpack <laughs> yeah it's it the guy. awesome if you, if you've seen the suicide squad movies uh he's the he's the colonel you know the 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 guy that's not super powered or whatever i haven't but yeah he, I he have either. They're, they're pretty good i like them i'm a, I'm a big nerd anyway so uh, What's the see. name of the show? Jay Dice wants to know. Altered Carbon. Altered Carbon. I kept thinking hotel. Okay. 
Oh, there's a hotel. That's yeah, like an AI a, hotel called Poe. Yeah, it's the, the AI. Oh. And he's a very human. Life. Very, very yeah. interesting character. Very interesting character. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. I'm going to cold read something. How's that sound? Out of Poetry Beasts, 12 Poets. By someone named Hayden Baruth. C A R R U T H. <clears throat> this is called The Ravine. Stones, brown, tufted grass, no water. It is dry to the bottom. A seedy eye of orange hawkweed blinks in sunlight stupidly. Mink bumbles away. A ring-necked snake among stones lifted its head like a spark. A dead young woodcock, long dead, the mink will not touch it, sprawls in the hatchment of its soft plumage and clutches emptiness with drawn talons. This is the ravine today, but in spring it cascades, in winter it fills with snow until it lay hidden completely. In time, geologic time, it will melt away or deepen beyond recognition a huge gorge. These are what I remember and foresee. These are what I see here every day, not things, but relationships of things, quick changes and slow. These are my sorrow, for unlike my bright, admonitory friends, I see relationships, I do not see things. These, such as they are, every day, every unique day, the first in time and the last are my thoughts, the sequences of my mind. I wonder what they mean. Every day, day after day, I wonder what they mean. Very good. That was very relaxing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I like stuff about nature. Um, Given that I'm from the country, of course. Makes sense. Yeah. Hey, Alex. Oh, yeah. Pasta, Alex. Welcome. Hey, Alex. Welcome. All right. Let's see here. So let's show Alex what we did, everyone. Um... <laughs> I did the alligator and pop trees. I got else? about four more inches done on my nice. shawl. Very nice. And I have my alligator oh. and my Very eye. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. And I'm just sitting here. No, you're not. You're sharing. Yeah, you're reading. Thank um, you, Alex. I'm yeah, that's, that, that is a craft, like we said last week. That is a craft doing the poetry for sure. I know, I'm just joshing. Yeah. Uh, thanks, good. Alex. Oh, so because... Alex, you... Yep, that is an amazing eye. Alex uh, uh, Alex is saying that somebody else also matched the, the donation, so that's pretty cool. Alex, before you got here, we were saying how, unfortunately, I can't help right now, but when I watched Tara's video, the feeling that I got was like, I want to do that too. Like, everybody should pitch in and help, and that would be really cool if you know, you have other people doing that and Yeah, and I'm working on something too. But what has some cool plans for the future too that he talked about? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to start helping when I'm getting monetized. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Let's see. So so you started cool. a, good, a good thing. We have a yeah, new request, is... Chad. Okay, what is the oh that's a bear, right? Koala bear? A koala bear. Yes. Okay, I, I could sketch it out. So that's anyways, good. um all right. Um so anyways, Alex, so you started a great thing. It's for a great cause, and Alex, Alex started it. I wish I was the one that had the great idea, but as long as someone got it started, that's good. Oh, Chad, come on. I know. You had I'm the encouraged. greatest of ideas, which is inviting hey, us to come here and hang out with you. Thank you. I hope this is a <laughs> weekly thing for all of us. Everything starts with an idea, good or bad. Yep. yep. But no, that is, that is a great idea you had. 
hey, it was very hey. cool. I posted for the first time in a long time on the, the Sketch a Day app. Thanks to Chad. Nice. So it's a, I think my Kakao brother Kakao is to... back here. Kakao wants to say hello again. Let's oh, say hello to Alex oh, now. Hello. hello. Say hello. My name is Kakao. Kakao, which means Coco. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. You too. I love chocolate. Kakao. And then and, and there's Papa. I don't know where and, she is. And I agree. And I agree. The more Coca, the better. American milk chocolate sucks. <laughs> yeah, he's not chocolate. He's cocoa. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like sixty percent and better. I like that. Chad Brock is making fun of me. Why? That's not acceptable. He's asking me to show him again. It's the third time I've shown him because he's, you know, coming up oh, here. Well, he could he could okay. he could watch it on the replay. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Koala. see here. I'm going to read another one. Yeah, definitely. This is in the Westward Quarterly from this winter. This poet is actually the featured poet in their spring edition. So, This is a, a woman named Dr. Susie Garib. G-H-A-R-I-B Garib from Syria. It's called Sheets of Tranquility. A placid sea, a cloudless sky, bluebells in spring, a blue-eyed ice and sheets that soothe my tired eyes, a moon that beams in liquid light, snows that cap a mountain top, and pure white sheets that ease my heart. Emerald seas, olive trees, a troop of pines and grass. Supine, a verdant sheet, or verdant sheets that that mines the peace. Yeah, no wonder she was the featured uh, featured writer. Very nice. That's um, her. Right there. Yeah, I guess she's the one who wrote that poem I just read. Very nice. Uh, oh. Hannah, yeah, I like I like Elf too. Elf? Yeah, great show. <laughs> I'll I'll be right back. Okay. Watch him come back with something elf related. Yeah. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that would be funny. Oh boy. Elf. Wow. He that's does probably, have an elf. Wow, that's probably worth money. I don't know. This thing is pretty ragged. My uh, when my brother. Uh, this is my home is my family's home uh i moved in when i left texas my brother was living here and, let's see uh, that again it almost looks like a his nose looks like a, a possum yeah <laughs> yeah like a in, there's the mouth and <laughs> stuff but yeah I, I remember alf yeah that was a good uh, show the, the, I the, too. The episode I remember, like a scene of whenever I think of Alf, is one where uh, the, the the sister, you know, the, the, was dating some dude in a band, and he was calling his band the Doors. I remember <laughs> that. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I it's don't the, remember any specific episodes. I remember watching it as a kid. Because yeah, I'm a Doors fan. I love the Doors. And, yeah, you know, me too. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Jim, Jim Morrison is awesome. Yeah, all of them. Ray Densmore, Robbie Krieger. I actually got to see Densmore do uh, a uh, perform. Uh, oh, back, wow. 
it was really? the it was the mid nineties uh, at uh, the University of Central Arkansas, and oh. uh, he had he was going on a lecture tour. It was after uh, the Doors August Oden, the Doors movie came out and everything. He was yeah. doing a lecture tour. He ended up uh, I think it was ninety five. It was like around ninety five or so. He ended up he was uh, did a lecture and performed on the drums and everything and told about his time and how he met Jim and. All that stuff. It was really interesting. Wow. And then yeah. you can't beat that keyboard player, uh, Ray Manzarek. Ray, Ray Manzarek, yes. Uh, it was really sad when it, when he passed away. Yeah. So they only, there's only two of them left. Uh, like uh, Robbie Krieger, he, his style of guitar, he, you know, if you notice, he played with his fingers. And oh, no, he, I didn't notice. He never used to pick. He liked to use a bottle with, like he used a bottleneck and his fingers. Wow. Um, yeah, I know, I know a lot about the doors. If you want, want to read a good book about them, get it on audio. Real book, you probably find it on audio book. It's called No One Here Gets Out Alive. It's a very intense book. Uh, it was written by one of their movies back in the. Written by who? Yeah, I miss that too. 80s, if I remember right. But yeah, it's a, they're in the 90s. Um, but, uh, oh, but what, we lost you there for a second. It was, written, it was written, yeah, it was written by who? I, I don't remember the man's name, um, oh. but uh, he was he was one of the roadies. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, um, if I'm breaking up, my my internet sucks out here. Uh, mine this, too. Mine this time too. Of day, just... This this time of day, uh, it's because uh, a lot of people are using it. Everybody's yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, no, but you're fine. It was just for a moment there. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah it, the book is called "No One Here Gets Out Alive," and uh, Danny Sugarman, Danny Sugarman's name, the man who wrote, who wrote okay. it. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Yes, yes, Sanjata, that is the TARDIS. I am. Oh, wait, someone else is coming in. Someone else is. Where's, oh, where's the TARDIS? My. my uh, there we go. Uh, Welcome, B. Baron. Hey, B. Baron. Uh, <laughs> How are you? Thanks I got, for joining I just, us. No problem. Uh, I We're talking about everybody. I hey, just, Karen, I, hey, poet. Hey, Juliana. Hi. Hey, Big Bear. Let me just hey, see what, what's what's the TARDIS that Poet is talking about. The TARDIS is the vehicle from Doctor Who. No, I know what the, I know what a TARDIS what a TARDIS okay. is, but I don't know what she was talking about when she said, "Is there okay. a TARDIS in this?" I got I, I got a message, and my message alert on my phone is the the sound the TARDIS makes. That's oh, good. okay. Yeah. No, so you're not going nuts, Aunt Hada. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. I'm going to read another one. Oh, one of, the, one of my big things is, uh, like, uh, earlier today, I was uh, I was talking with uh, one of my friends, and the com uh, we were text messaging each other, and the conversation ended up getting me getting the song Simple Man by Leonard Skinner stuck in my head. So I eventually got it. Uh, eventually that went away so it's been that's how my day has been and i was listening to ended up listening to some sticks and some other 70s album rock bands and uh that's and cool. uh and and uh one of the things i really love is when i listen to music i love listening to the words mm -hmm. you know yeah you know, and that uh when uh so i was you know random music on uh yahoo uh on uh youtube music and the song song white room came on and that actually has a that's, that song actually has a really interesting story behind it uh there's this uh, youtube channel called professor of rock that did a really good uh in-depth deep dive into it uh but i really love the words to that so i put them off and we'll read them Hopefully, I won't try to start singing them and run you all away. <laughs> yeah. okay, Copyright strike. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. That, 
there's that problem. Uh, doing live, and you don't have to worry about the copyright strike. Oh, yeah, okay. you do. Of course you do. You do. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Well. You, you can't steal someone's music. I'm not stealing music. I'm just reading their words. Yeah, yeah. No, I think the, isn't that copyright too? The, the, isn't no. the, the song copyrighted? Because you can't just. Uh, well, for one thing, uh, for one thing, this song, uh, I, I don't know if this song has gone out of copyright, but you find it online. That's where I got the lyrics from. And so I'm not, I shouldn't be too worried about it. Uh, it's that easy, but okay. Yeah. Um, We'll, if it's that easy, we'll fight it. But uh, it goes uh, <clears throat> in the white room with black curtains near the station. Black roof okay. country, no gold pavements, hired starlings, silver horses, ran down moonbeams moon in your dark eyes, dawn white smiles on you leaving my contentment. I'll wait in this place where the sun never shines. Wait in this place where the shadows run from themselves. You said no strings could secure you at the station. Platform tickets, restless diesels, goodbye windows. I walked into such a sad time at the station as I walked out. Felt my own need just beginning. I'll wait in the queue when the train comes back by with you where the shadows run from themselves. At the party, she was kindness in the hard crowd, consolation for the old wound, now forgotten yellow tigers crouched in the jungles in her dark eyes. She's just dressing goodbye windows, tired starlings. I'll sleep in this place with the lonely crowd, lie in the dark where the shadows run from themselves. I can feel myself getting into a little different rhythm than what the song uh, actually uh, comes. But this is a very the, the story behind this is very interesting because the guy who wrote it, uh, Pete Brown, the guy who wrote the lyrics, he was actually living in an old abandoned train station when he wrote this in the early '60s. Wow. Yeah. So all the all the images and stuff in it come from this old rundown uh train station nice that's cool um so baron um and how wants to know what you're doing over there shaving i am <laughs> shaving ice i am making ink nice that's, that's all i was doing just uh grinding the uh ink i just put the brush in it to show you that's cool Old ways are the best ways. <laughs> right. Not always. <laughs> it would have been cheaper to just buy some liquid ink, but what are you going to do? It would have been as fun, though. No. Not as much fun. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh. Chad, do you have any music, like free music? Uh, oh, yeah, I could put some on. You, you could put on... Uh, yeah, I could put on I Got the Relax stuff. But do I you have to, like, like put I'll that put in it. the description or something when you do yeah, that or not? I, will, I mean, I will as soon as we upload the video. Mm. I, I don't if, think it'll... Yeah. If you need me to, I'll send the link where I got these lyrics from if you want to be safe. No, oh, it's not cool. about the link. It's about the... Uh, like, if you do a cover song... Yeah. It's yeah. technically it's not a cop. It's a copyright yeah. issue. Like you're not allowed to just legally do that. Yeah, because uh, one of the things I've been uh, wanting to do is do an actual series on my channel, doing song lyrics and stuff. Because I know, I know. Uh, I think Denver's still on the stream, so he could either back me up or tell me I'm wrong. But yeah. I think B Bear. I think not B Baron. I think A Aaron. He played. He was nice enough to play Denver's first song, and he yeah. said he did get a copyright strike. Uh, so we just uh, want to be careful. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. I don't want you know. Wow. Well. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, but I, I I watch a lot of like reaction videos and other stuff like that. So I don't know. There's ways around it. 
Denver, you make any new videos lately? AJ Days. No, I haven't seen uh, that. Okay, I'm done. Let's see. Very nice. Very so cute. He Very is a nice. Koala. Yep. I just started mine. Very nice. Next. If Poe comes on, I did a snake earlier. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Let's see here. I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out something that goes with this music. Could you guys hear the music? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Nice. Lovely. Good, good. It's the uh, relax movement. And if you guys use it on your channels, you just have to put it in the description. I don't know if... Uh, Bibera answered the question about the ink, uh, and Hada wanted to know she's BTS type D now, she keeps changing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she wanted to know where you get your ink sticks. I bought them from a, an art store. Um, they're, they're just uh, they're just Japanese uh, black ink, I think Chinese, Japanese, I think they use the same ink. It's a uh, like that. This comes in a little box. Very traditional. Nice. Very nice. So so Denver did answer the question. <laughs> it's still complicated to me, but so it sounds like Aaron didn't get a full strike. He just didn't get didn't get full monetization off the ads. Yeah. That's all I have for ink. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's Arizona. the only one I have. Oh, that's cool, J. I haven't touched it in a long time. I want to see if I have my fountain pens here. I was, I was telling B. Baron, I, 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 someday I do want to buy a fountain pen too, like that. I got a bunch from my dad. Wow. I lost my dad a couple of years ago. I'm sorry but, to hear that. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Um, it was tough, and but I was with him throughout the last year, year and a half of his life. So we went through a bunch of stuff, and then you know found out. So I got I got these from him before he died, and I actually used them while I was living with him. Uh -huh. And I don't think I've touched them since. So you know, it just inspired me now showing your ink. <laughs> well, it's just ink. I think I I I don't know if it's not ink pen, pen, but I just use it in the pen. I just nice. like when they I like seeing those Japanese paintings where there's just a little bit of like that pink ink in like the flowers. Whenever they do those, uh, I forget what kind of tree it is, but it's a it's a reoccurring theme. I think it's like. Sakura, the some, some kind of flower, like uh, probably the cherry blossom. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, cherry Sakura. blossom. Sakura. Yeah, it's the same thing as the brand of the like this flower. Okay. Wow. Neat. I don't even remember how these work anymore. Your channel got shut, got shut down? And how to? That's crazy. Yeah, That's what she was. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it happened right after she commented on my that Star Wars haiku that I did, and I was going to, you know, say some stuff back to her, and it was gone. 
Yeah. What's happening which in, on YouTube? Which in how do you have some valid points? I will agree with. You. Well, just start another one, Anna. By the way, what's up with Doug? I haven't heard from him in a couple weeks. In a week and yeah, a little bit. Hope everything's all right with him. I know. Me too. Yeah, me too. Why would you think something's wrong with him? Because he's been MIA. Uh, and his channel already got uh, taken down a couple times before. Well, his channel's still up. But, you know. Yeah. It's just because he had the, the weekly shows. Yeah, that's and then true. And he just didn't show. Oh, okay. Alex said he's okay. Thanks, Alex. Okay. okay. Yeah, it makes sense. And take a Send him our love. Tell yeah, him definitely. Him. Yep. Yeah, tell, tell him we're thinking about him. And tell yep. him to take his time and take care of himself. No pressure, just you're just worried. I, you know, I was just worried. Yeah, no, you're right though, Julie. He had, you know, he had the weekly show, so that's yeah, cool. I was just worried. I, I was, I almost texted him. I'm like, I don't really know him, and I was like, I'm not really gonna <laughs> be bothering him because I, I figured, you know, he's probably yeah. fine. But yeah. And you figure, you know, sometimes, you know, these people we, we, we follow and stuff, they get bothered enough by crazies. Yeah. You know? Ah, let's, who likes Robert Frost? I do. I love Robert Frost. Okie dokie. Well, I like Robert Frost, too. And I found some big old thick book. Ah, the road I'm not taken. Oh, yeah. All right. This is called The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. I'm sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it went in the undergrowth. Then took the other and just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden back oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how uh, how Way, a way we gone to wave, I doubted if I could ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads the birds in the wood and I, and the one must travel, and that has made all the difference. Take the road, let's travel. Nice. I always liked that one when I was in school. Yeah. You know, we really didn't study Frost too much in high school. You know, I come from a really tiny time. Chad, could you turn your music down just a little bit? Yeah, oh, sure. sure. Okay. Yeah. Just a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. I was wondering if it was too loud. It was just a little. Thank you. Is that okay? No, I can't hear it, but... <laughs> 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 can anyone else hear it good or no? no. I can How's barely that? hear it. I could barely. That's better. No, that's, that's good. good. Okay. Nice well, background music is yeah. cool. I was thinking about uh, whenever, you know, we used to listen to the whole album a lot because mm -hmm. we had CDs and we had records and, you know, nobody does that anymore, but that'd be cool to listen to a whole album. Yep. I actually, for a stream. I, I actually have an old record player. Well, it's a, it's a newer record player, but it's for the vinyls, and I have some old vinyls. 
we can listen to ACDC, uh, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap album. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then we'll really get a copyright strike. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, what else do I got? I, I've got, I've got uh, a bunch of Frank Zappa. Uh, I'm, I'm a big Frank Zappa fan. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. So Anaphylaxis is going to join us in the future. That's cool. That's great. That is great, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll send her my email. Very nice. Feeling paralysis. <laughs> oh yeah, I know the feeling. The one thing I've learned from social media is a lot of people don't do things because of their animals. Oh, you don't get me started there. My my, <laughs> my, my dogs control my life. Oh my lord! Right now, all three of them are asleep. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, we right. live we live in a world where doggy day doggy daycare is like a call one call away, but yeah, nobody yeah. wants to leave their animals. No, it's like uh, if, if I want I really want to attend that uh, the uh, SP convention in October. I'll be bringing I did one of some my lettering. Yeah. Oh wow! Cool. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I, I, I nice. like the bottom one. The bottom one's cool. Yes. Yeah, the top one is the fountain pen, which I don't know how to use. The bottom one is a brush pen. Very nice. Oh, hi, Osa. <laughs> if they're watching. Oh, they're watching. Aaron says they watch every channel. Yeah. They watch and re re they watch and record every channel. Aaron said. Yeah. The co yeah, and if Alex says, comes here, this. they're watching it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I was here talking about whatever. We're not even talking about Scientology. I know, but he. I didn't I think. It. Oh yeah, I didn't think they did either. But Aaron said they watch every single channel. I don't know. Oh, there's yeah. a koala, whole body <laughs> one, cool. Well, yeah, and I, I do put. Oh, that is cool. Uh, my 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 uh, Scientology videos. I do put SPTV hashtag at the beginning of it. So yeah, they probably. Yeah, um, make sure you help them find it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, they already yeah, take so I, much abuse. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, you know. And they could be crafting with us. I know. Uh, maybe I'll give them a chuckle, you know. They're probably buying all the domains that say uh, from a poet and poet and Brian <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> I would That'll consider that a They start batter. buying domains for everybody who's a critic. Yep. Who's never been in Scientology. Yeah. That's yep. going to be insane. <laughs> I don't even want to go on panel for this group. Anaphylaxis, I have one made for radio too. Oh, this was too big. I just realized it's raining and it's gotten dark in my house. Let me turn the lights on. <laughs> oh. That's for Ohio. That's funny. So just to review, because people keep coming in and out. Here is a Jay Leto unicorn. Jalen O'Hara today. Smurfy corn. Smurfy corn. Post snake if he comes. <laughs> that one's waiting Ooh, for Poe to come. Yep. He might not. He's busy. Well, I'm. What else do you have there, Chad? Um. What was? I think that was it. No. The we did the alligator. Oh yeah, okay, I'll show that one again. Everything's all everywhere here. Here's a watermelon I did earlier today. Oh, I, I didn't see that one. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and if I can be here, you can be here. Yeah. Does, does, does that get a bite on out of it or something? 
The water. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I my like, kid drew it, one and I copied it, his. It, it kind of looked like an elephant there for a second. There's the alligator behind it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do. You got to do a hippo. Yeah, maybe. Oh I mean, my god. Week. Asking difficult things. I know, right? I'm gonna go back to the pine trees. Here's a monster from earlier. <laughs> yeah, the monster. I did about I did a bunch of these before we started. Was... Chad, didn't I send you something that I saw online? That yeah, had a I just, chin? I showed it. I showed the, oh, uh, the unicorn. The, well, it doesn't look as good as, as yours, the unicorn. He, yep. <laughs> Jay Leno <laughs> unicorn. Jay Leno. I have a I have a game. I have a card game called Unstable Unicorns. Have you, have you seen it? Have you heard of no. it? No. No. Let me show you. Let me find it. I know it's here. Bye, Alex. Thanks for joining us, Alex. That was fun. Bye, Alex. Oh, he's Bye, leaving. Alex. Bye, Alex. I can't see the chat now because I have three Ooh. notifications of. Aaron, Mark, and Mike are going live in 30 minutes. Yep. Got the notifications too. They decided to push them out today. Yay. Yeah. Where are my unicorns? Oh no. You know, the, I guess the unicorns really are hard to find, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay. So when you get back, I'll read the poem that was written by a friend of mine. In the meantime, let's pull another one out from Westward Quarterly. Sounds good. Hey, Jay Dice, you're from Pennsylvania, right? Uh, no. Not sure. I think I think she's from she's living in Pennsylvania because. Found one from someone from Pennsylvania. So, Jay Dice, this is for you. It's called Did I Help You Today by Lydia Mauricio. Oh, New York. Oh, well, this is still for you, anyways. <laughs> Did I help you today? Did I meet your need, or was I too busy to plant the seed of kindness? Was I, take, was I too taken up with? plans of my own to recognize your spirits grown was I hurrying down my so busy road that I quite ignored lifting your load did I help you today did I meet your need did I care whether you would fail or succeed was I too occupied with this life of my own that I could not hear your trouble grown nice. that, was, that was pretty good yeah sure. it was Hi, Irma. Hi, Irma. Glad you're here, Irma. You're Irma. here. That's all that matters. Yep. Hi, Irma. Okay, so I found the unicorns. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. The, the last card got in my plate like that was Cards Against Humanity. Cards Against Humanity. Oh, yeah. Gone. Yes, Cards okay, Against Humanity. Okay, you guys got to check this out. This game is like. You have your basic unicorn. Okay. Yep. Right. And then you have a bunch of those different types. Um, and then you have uh, so many cool. You have your rainbow unicorn. Cool. Wow. You have the mermaid. You have a lot of unicorns, but there's. Hi, Beach Corn. Hey, Beach. Puppy Corn. So we got, you know, Puppy Corn. There's a bunch of fun unicorns. Ginormous unicorn. Oh, that unicorn. <laughs> they almost look like Pokemon. Chainsaw yeah. Unicorn. Yeah, they do. They do look kind of like Pokemon. Style. They're cool, though. 
this game's a lot of fun, but the cards are so cute and so so creative. And then when I, you know, this when I said, oh, Smurfic Warren, that should be, that should be a unicorn in this game. Cool. It's a right. fun party game. Very nice. So, uh, I'm going to read one by my friend, Nicole Skull. Uh, that's the, the video I put out today. It's the, the person I talk about in that. Uh, she actually got this one published on an online publication called The Rat's Ass Review. <laughs> yeah. So, go check it out. It's called Grief Takes Out His Teeth. Grief takes out his teeth, plops them into a glass to soak on the back of the sink. Feathers, grass, and a small vein struck between molars to dissolve. His lips curl inward like he is swallowing a song or hiding a key beneath his silent tongue. He looks for all the world like an uncle playing checkers at your family reunion or that old man in every McDonald's. Drinking coffee, reading the paper, harmless, threadbare, soft. Then grief opens his mouth like a tornado filled with babies, cows, Bibles. Staggers, intoxicated with suffering, remembers why he's there. Finds you in the kitchen, calls you baby doll, grabs you, says, let's dance, princess. Recites like scripture the names of those who loved you and the ones who never loved you back, the dogs who learned, leaned against you even after you left them alone too long. Now dirt and junk wheels in the garden. Grief slides into a ballad, bluesy and slow, that holds all your goodies, goodbyes, grief sighs. He is sleepy, so he presses his lips closed, counts to ten, while the dead fluff their pillows, while the living forget, while you listen for a voice that won't speak, a knock that isn't coming, the last words you will never get. My my friend's a very a very heavy poet. Nice yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. It goes nice with the. You read it nice with the music too. Well, I was cool. thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I'm trying not to sway back and forth with the music because you know, in that video I sent you earlier today, I was in a rocking chair and I was like rocking. Oh, I didn't even notice it. <laughs> I tend to sway a lot. It's all good. I'm just relaxed now. I drew enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aaron's live again. Again? Right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unstoppable. That's right, yeah. Beachcomber. It, 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 B. Baron is a Ron's cousin. People are asking about you, B. Baron. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the that's a yeah. very very high fact. Man arrested for stalking science. Each caller must watch a lot of our videos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. What's well, up, Beach yeah. Oh, shoot. I think they're second cousins. Get that. Oh my god. What are you drawing there? Be bearing pine trees or uh, uh <laughs> no. Those are uh, clear water palms right there. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite done yet. They look good. <laughs> the, all of the ink just kind of like mushed together. So. Yeah, I found, I found one that's a little, that's kind of funny. 
It's a Westward Quarter Lake, the uh, third uh, spring one. They have this little uh, section in there called the lighter side. It's a little short one. It's called "Tis Time" by Jane Blanchard, in Georgia. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which of you has to go? This or that or something other? Keep it. Give or sell another. How to figure? How to choose? What am I least apt to use? Why say it's more than enough? Surely someone wants my stuff. <laughs> nice. nice. Thank you, Irma. These are new. New in the sense that I stopped dyeing my hair. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask if that was natural or not. It looks good on you. It is natural. Yeah, I just stopped dyeing my hair about yeah. six months ago. Um. And then I wanted to see how much gray I had, and I'm digging it. It's cool. Yeah, it looks good on you. It's cool. Thank you. I have sure one is. more lettering oh, wow. now for Dad. Oh, I love Ooh. it. That's very our nice. Host. That's so that pretty. is very nice. Hey, we That's should use that for a video. Especially for our host. Yeah, yeah I love it. <laughs> you guys want to see the little, uh, I might be able to pull up uh, maybe a future opener. Do you want to show that, Chad? You want me to show that or no? You can show it. I don't know if I can pull it up in real quick here. Um, all right, I'll try to present my screen. It'll take me a sec. Take your time. Hey, Juliana, hey, I, th you, I, think, I think I have a way for you might help. One of the things that I need done for that collection is I need some design work done. Like just some simple little things for like, uh, you know, Scroll your curly cues or whatever around the around the page. Would you do that for me for it? I could try. I'm no designer. Um, <laughs> okay. I could try. We'll, 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 we'll talk offline or, or yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Goldie has my email address. Oh, Chad has also both our emails. So okay, I'll, I'll get I'll get her email address. Yeah, and, and we'll talk because I'm I want to. I want this collection that I'm putting together to be pretty, you know. That would feel like if if I if I was able to do it, that would feel that would be some something that I could do to help. You know. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, but... yeah. And stuff and, and you know, we'll, we'll I have no that. faith in myself, but uh, yeah, we'll talk. No, we we'll have talk. faith in you, Juliana. Yeah. Thank you. Did that oh, show? Yeah, you guys gonna say you got it up? Did it oh, show no, like on the we screen, or did it show on, like on the bottom screen? I was there, looking yeah. down. Here. I didn't see uh, anything. Okay. Well, yeah, show it again, though. I'll try. Uh, I think I, I might have closed it. Oopsie. Uh oh, I got a special request here from J Dice. Okay, just hang on go a second. Oh, okay, go, go ahead. I'm just trying to see what it is that they're trying to show. I can't see anything. But it'll just, it's going to take me a minute to pull it up. I closed it by accident. Oh, well, okay. Po po Poet could go then, right? Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, this is from Jade Ice. She has a suggestion. Oh no, by Robert Creeley. If you wander far enough, you will come to it, and when you get there, they will give you a place to sit for yourself only in a nice chair, and all your friends will be there with smiles on their faces, and they will likewise all have places. Nice. That was pretty. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, okay. dude. That was nice. Take, take your side, Barry. I want to read Wait. one of yours. You need to send me some. You need to send me some of your stuff. I am trying to find this. Present. Share screen. Share screen. Windows. There. Here, okay, here we go. Oh, I'm going to wait to see that because I don't want to know. Okay, okay. It almost looks like you're writing, Juliana. Yeah. There, that was it. Nice. Very nice. The only reason I brought it up is because it had your writing in it. It had the writing that was just like yours. He, We just picked that out the I other day. I didn't see anything. What am I missing? You didn't wonder, see it. I wonder if we could make it bigger. Um, no, I don't see anything at all. Like, like it was on the bottom of the screen. 
Oh, maybe it. I wonder if we could post. I, I didn't realize you guys couldn't see it. There's I put on present, of... uh, share screen. When you and do it again, I... I'll try Did to. Can I see it, Poet and Terry? Oh, I cleared. I closed else? it again. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> It's no big. It's a one minute yeah, clip we'll, with basically we'll twin writing. I mean, yeah, I'll do it one more time for good luck, I, just no, to, I didn't see anything. so I don't go nuts. That's All right. Okay. Ooh, Irma was Here a poet. Well, Irma's Present, a poet too. Share Welcome screen. Forward. Share screen. Okay, everybody, Terry, poet, and everybody else. Okay. Can you see it? Can I, I can't see anything. anything. I mean, it's no. the same. I can says, see. I can't see anything. Screens. Yeah, five screens is all I'm seeing. I, I, yeah, I see the same Okay, thing. hold on. I'm going to edit this screen. There oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, there. oh, okay. Oh, all right. It was just the opening Very sequence. cool. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, he's right. The, the writing yeah. does look like Julie's. That's yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, you know, <laughs> and writing. Yeah, I like uh -oh. that writing. Guys, I'm going to I'm gonna actually go because I want to grab something to eat before those guys go live in 10 minutes and 15 yeah. minutes. Me too, uh, and Philip just walked in. Yeah, yeah we could, we could break up because we, we do have yeah. to get ready. Yeah, I gotta... I don't wanna... Do. I don't wanna, like, end the party no. or... No, no, we... <laughs> I just wanna say that I, I'm, I'm gonna go because I gotta eat something, I'm hungry. Me too, no I'll see y'all in a little bit. Thank you very much for having, <laughs> you having All right. me, Tad. Until next week. See you guys later. See you. Thank Bye. you. I'll, I'll get your email address and chat. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye, uh, bye Juliana. Bye, Baron. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay. I'll end the.